go anywhere in the Ohio Valley this November, chances are you're going to see signs like these ones behind me, seemingly on every street corner, asking you to vote for this candidate or that candidate, asking you to vote for this policy or that policy. The thing is, what do you vote for? Who do you vote for? How do you know who to vote for? I asked a couple people at the community how they go about voting for a specific candidate. Warning, warning, the politicians are here. Seems that every airwave, television channel, or street corner is begging you to vote for a certain candidate. I sat down with political science professor John Poffenberger, asking him what are some ways in which a voter can use to not get duped at the poll this election. Because when people vote, they're voting on the way they want to construct sort of the world. Um, and so they're looking for like-minded candidates, and the party's always a good place to start. But what about the candidates lower on the ballot? How important are they? Well, it actually is important because in a you know, funny sort of way, those are the candidates that are closer to you. You're much more likely to interface or deal with a candidate lower on the ballot because they're the ones providing direct services to you. But how do area residents select the right politician? Simply? in a lot of different ways. I usually um, make a point to go in my local community when they're at the steak fry, if it um, seems like spaghetti dinners, they love to show up at those and I just kind of want to listen to what they have to say. Well, it normally just comes down to whichever party I vote for. It's really hard to be able to get to the level of inf informed that I think a voter should be. So many times I don't vote because I don't think it's right to vote when you don't really know what's going on. It's a lot of times it, it's difficult, you kind of just Christmas tree, you know, you just vote for the, the person, name you've heard the most. Still, Poffenberger offers one more piece of valuable advice before you enter the polls. Wherever you get your information, you should take it sort of with a grain of salt um, and be somewhat skeptical about what you're getting from either the pro or the con. As you go out to vote tomorrow, remember one thing. Abraham Lincoln once said, you can fool all of the people some of the time, some of the people all of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. As you go out to vote tomorrow, try not to pick a candidate who's just trying to fool you until Tuesday. For 7 News, this is Nathan Marshall.